It's Monday the 8th of December. This is the ETS Capital Morning Market Bite. Asian shares were mostly lower on Monday uh, after sobering data highlighted the sluggishness of the region's key economies uh, and tempered the lift from much stronger than expected US employment numbers. Now, China's uh, imports shrank unexpectedly in November while export growth slowed, uh, fueling concerns that the world's second largest economy could be facing a sharper slowdown and adding pressure on policies, uh, policymakers to ramp up stimulus measures. Uh, the data actually came in 6.7% contraction year on year. Um, this followed on from some decent payroll numbers that we we saw on Friday 321,000 jobs created and the employment, uh, unemployment rate sticking at 5.8%. So the Dow and the S&P uh, closed a 7th straight weekly advance on Friday uh, due to the better than expected jobs report indicated strong economic growth, but perhaps to the point where their interest rates could be sooner, uh, could rise sooner than previously uh, anticipated. Uh, the Dow Industrial uh, rose 58 points to close at 17.958. The S&P 500 rose three points to close at 20.75. Uh, within the FX base, the Australian dollar, which is sensitive to economic fortunes of China, uh, its main export destination touched a new four and a half year low of 0.8288 uh, in early trade this morning. Uh, the dollar was steady at 121 spot 51 yen after touching a new seven-year high of 121.86 overnight and the dollar stood tall against the euro uh, which languished near a two-year low of one spot 2270. Within the commodity uh, space, we continue to see the crumble of uh, crude oil. Brent crude lost 92 cents to $68 a barrel, approaching a five-year low of 67.53 hit last week, uh, as it had its forecast cut by Morgan Stanley, which exaggerated the fall. Uh, within the equity space, retailers were in focus this morning. Uh, Sainsbury's, uh, especially, is trading up 1% in early trade at approximately 241p per share, after the UK activist investment fund Crystal Amber is in talks with several overseas investors about buying shares in the organisation as part of a plan to shake up the food, uh, the food retailer that could cause a takeover bid to be made, which was reported in the Sunday Telegraph yesterday. As, uh, currently in the indices space, FTSE is down about 46 points, trading around 6,720. The DAX is down also around about 45 points, trading at uh, just over 10,000 uh, by 50 points, so about 10,050. That was the morning market bite. Thank you very much.